Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Northumberland Zoo on YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Maxine, I'm one of the managers here at the zoo. Uh, on today's episode uh, we're going to focus on a couple of different things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at our brand new polytunnel and that's something that Jeff, our groundskeeper, and, and Connor have been very excited about because we're going to start growing a lot of our own plants. And then we're going to take a super cute look at our latest arrival. now um, the polytunnel is located right at the top of our new domestics area so you might actually be able to come in and uh, see it yourselves when the domestics area is open we have got slightly better weather at the minute uh, the winds are kind of picking up which is helping dry things out but we are due rain all week so we've decided that the new domestics area is definitely not going to open for Easter but if it keeps dry we might be able to open it up in the second week we'll just see uh, I don't want to put a date on it and then disappoint people. So, the new polytunnel uh, was actually bought as like a kit. Um, so my dad found it on the internet and it's a do-it-yourself jobby. We'll have a little look at the process of building a polytunnel. Now that the sheet's on, it looks great, but obviously look at the state of it around it. It's so infuriating. Cannot wait for this to dry up so we can actually get in here with vehicles and then not have to put massive wellies on just to come and tend to the plants. What are you doing, Jeff? Prepping the pots. Uh, we're going to start the peppers off. We need to get them in. Um, we've gotten the tomatoes, 128 tomato plants on the go, we'll give it a couple of weeks, we'll plant some more, so we just want to get the first, the first lot sorted getting in, and then in a couple of weeks we'll, we'll restock, so we've got a constant supply um, going along, but it's a fast space and we've just started, so it's like a postage stamp on 10 acres of land at the minute, but we'll, um, we'll get there. But today is perfect, we're, we're quite absolutely sodden on the park at the minute, so there's not much grounds work we can do out there, so this is perfect. And I've got my volunteers to come and give a hand here as well, so it's great. So when do you expect them to start coming up then? About seven to ten days. Oh really? In here. Wow. Yeah. The germination period is uh, a lot less. 
Um, and you can just feel the heat in here already. We've got tens and thousands of seeds to sow. And they'll get transplanted into the ground, obviously. Some of them will. Um, it's another couple of months. It could look like botanic gardens in here. I hope. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Looks awesome, doesn't it? It's not going to be long before we've uh, got all kinds of stuff growing. Jeff's going to be really busy. Anyways, now onto the cute part of the video. Uh, me and my dad went on a little trip to the other day to go and pick up some new animals. So there's a local farm park to us, probably about 45 minutes down the road that has closed down recently. Um, they've got a lot of children's play equipment um, and they've got a lot of farm animals that need a new home. So we're on our way now to uh, collect these animals and uh, we're super excited for you to see them. <laughs> so light. Yeah. Watch your skin. All of the animals in the barn were doing their equivalent of curtain twitching as they were having a little look at the new arrivals. So I'm just going to go down to the uh, the new alpaca paddock and see how they're getting on because I haven't seen them actually since uh, we got them. Uh, so uh, let's go and see what they look like and obviously if you want to come and see them they're just located down opposite the snow leopards. Just coming past the new goat paddock now it's looking amazing it's just such a shame that it's under so much water uh, so we'll do some more updates on that next week hopefully with less water so here we go there is natasha and Scylla. Um, so natasha is the mum and Scylla is the baby she was born in late november last year so she's only a few months old uh, and she was called Scylla Black because she was a surprise. Uh, the people that we got, the alpacas off, didn't realise that Natasha was pregnant. So uh, there she is. So when you come at Easter, you'll be able to see her. And if you enjoyed today's video, please do remember to like our channel and subscribe. Also want to say a huge thank you to Megan and Dan who bought something from our wish list. And it's a little flotation device that we could put food inside of and the otters absolutely loved it. 
The link is in our description below if anybody would like to have a little look at our wish list for our animals and our keepers. Thank you so much. But thank you so much for watching and we shall see you next week.